This video will help you to connect your ERP Next account with your Tier 2 Tickets Help Desk Buttons account. There are three steps to this process. The first is to create an unregistered user. Our software matches tickets to users by email address in ERP Next. If someone tries to submit a ticket but ERP Next does not recognize the email address, our software will instead submit the ticket to a catch-all user. The user needs a specific email address unregistered at helpdeskbuttons.com. To create this user in ERP Next, click CRM and open a customer that's suitable for catch-all tickets. Scroll down to Address and Contacts and click New Contact. Fill out the contact details with whatever you like just make sure to add the email ID unregistered at helpdeskbuttons.com and click Save. The second step is to create an API key. To create this API key in ERP Next, click Settings, My Settings, API Access. You can create a key by clicking the Generate Keys button. Copy down the API secret as it cannot be viewed again. If the API key does not show up, try logging out and logging back in. When successful, you should see an API key and the obscured API secret. Copy the API key as well, as you'll need both of these to complete the integration. Finally, head to your Tier 2 Tickets Help Desk Buttons account. Once you're logged in, go to Integration Settings by clicking on Software Management Integration Settings from the main navigation menu. On the Integration Settings page, select ERP Next as the ticket system and fill out the API endpoint. For cloud hosted instances, this will be of the form businessname.erpnext.com. Next, fill out the API key. The key you want to put in here is of the form API key colon API secret. Now click update to save your changes. You should be able to click the integration test button and our system will send a test ticket to your ERP next instance. If you see success and a ticket number, you're all set. For more information, check the documentation linked in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.